that's the last last round I'm chopping for today. I got probably I don't know almost two trees chopped. Yesterday we had a tree service come and take down some trees because I had this tree here was a leaner went up and right over just leaning over the top of my neighbor's cabin there and then we had two more alders here that were uh, one was kind of rotting and they were leaners and just kind of dangerous so it was time to take care of those but now I am buried in wood I got quite a bit split today but I still have all of this the leaner was a pretty big tree and uh, got a lot of wood from that some of this is left over from the other alder that was here but yeah I got a nice pile so far and uh, the bigger stuff over there and here is gonna be a little trickier but I do have my three-in-one forestry multi-tool from log ox and that'll help me move this stuff around I'm probably just gonna chop everything I can in there and at least into quarters and then get it out of there and then I have to get it out up these stairs I can bring my trailer down my neighbor's really good about letting me use his driveway so I can bring my trailer there and load it up and take it up and work on another holes housing but but I don't know if I'm gonna haul it all up there because that would make a giant holes housing even without taking all this wood up there because I still have wood up there that's from the other property so uh, what to do I do have up here that's the mini holes housing um, and I'm burning that this year that pallet there is what's left over from the big holes housing from the front so I will use all that up so I'll probably stack some of this stuff onto uh, that pallet once I empty it there's a couple pallets there I'll probably fill the two pallets with the wood down here for next year and then the rest of it I'm going to take up and make a giant holes housing castle that's the plan anyway but oh man as you know we live on a hill and any of you guys that live on a hill it's a workout when you do anything because yeah it just is you're going up and down but I got a lot of wood for next year so that's good my neighbor also had a tree taken down it was going up and hanging way over his cabin and it had ivy all over it and you could see it was starting to rot inside so that was good to get that thing out of there I was working on the basement and uh, prepping to start pouring the little foundation walls down here but uh, cold weather moved in this week and last night was the first real cold night uh, not sure what it got down to but they're calling for low 30s and high 20s at some point this week so concrete pouring is out of the question now because you can't pour concrete in the cold especially in the freezing cold so what I did was work on the posts I was coating them with this copper coat and uh, somebody suggested I just like coat these things heavy with that stuff and then I'll put on uh, this closed cell foam expansion joint stuff and what it'll do the expansion jo expansion joint foam will go in here and then uh, my forms I'm nailing right to the posts and the concrete is going to pour in between these posts but I will have a big uh, footer down there that's wider than the six inch wall five and a half inch wall and here's where I started digging my trench for uh, the footer for this wall but when I saw that the freezing cold weather was coming I put a stop to that because I don't want to dig trenches and uh, compromise the uh, you know the integrity of these cement footers that the posts are in because if we did have an earthquake or something and I've got all this dug out it's just uh, makes for no support when the ground starts shaking right now I've got little makeshift uh, closed in areas for the water system with a heat lamp in there and then uh, I did have the toilet kind of insulated last night with a light on so I'll be doing that again tonight and nothing froze last night so that is good anyway that's what's going on around here wood wood and more wood all right thanks a lot for watching 
and I will see you guys next time.